So today is day 16 and the title says stop being so stubborn. Um, so yeah, everyone knows what stubbornness is. I'm sure that everyone's been called stubborn at some point in their life. I know that I have been called stubborn a lot. And um, before I was a believer of Jesus, um, you know, stubbornness was like funny, like it was kind of funny to be called stubborn. Um, I was almost even like proud of it because it's like, yeah, I'm in my way. Like I'm, I am me, I'm myself, you know, I'm like owning it. Um, and I'm sticking to my guns with things. Um, but that actually caused a lot of like heartache for me. And, you know, my own stubbornness didn't <laughs> really recognize it as heartache or let myself feel that as heartache. Um, my stubbornness made it more prideful, like, wow, I'm strong. It's, it doesn't even hurt me. Um, I can't even give exact examples, but yes, growing up, I was called stubborn a lot. And you know, even though like that stubbornness, sure, it did get me through some things. Um, I just know that things could be handled a lot better in a much better way. And, you know, it could have led me out of like dark, hard times a lot quicker than um, what I allowed myself to do. Um, because, yeah, I, I knew like I was a good person. Um, I knew that, you know, I made good choices um but I also had like things that I was curious about and um you know being stubborn made that goodness in me feel wrong um it turned it wrong I guess I should say and um you know it became a lot about misunderstandings and I don't know, I just experienced a lot of that, um, you know, growing up, going from a teenager to an adult, and stubbornness really did not help me in any way. Um, it made it harder for me to, like, move on and find true happiness, um, because I often held on to things that, like, I knew weren't good for me, and that was out of pure stubbornness, I can say that. And um, now that I've read the Bible and I'm a believer of God and Jesus, um, there's so many times throughout the Bible where it says, you know, it warns against stubbornness. And um, it says being stubborn not only stunts spiritual growth, it moves our lives in the wrong direction. And that's something that like rings true to me, like I said. Um, the more stubborn I was, the farther I got away from like what my true destiny was, which was to be where I am right now. Um, meeting my husband, getting married, having babies, um, growing closer to God, you know, that's that's what my destiny was. And, and my stubbornness was definitely holding me back from any kind of a lifestyle like the one that I'm living right now. Um, and... Uh, you know, that's something that's really hard to accept. It's hard to move away from. It's hard to humble yourself and realize, you know, like you might be doing things wrong. Um, there might be better for you. Um, God will do that for you, but he's not going to do it unless you do humble yourself and truly let go of that stubborn nature. Um, and that's something that I'm definitely still working on because it's so easy to get caught up in old ways and, and that stubbornness and pride. Um, so if I've ever been stubborn to you and not listen, not listen to you, um, not give you the time of day, I truly apologize. And that's something that like I am taking ownership in through this fast. I've recognized it and I'm very much like focusing on sitting back and listening more um, to get like, you know, other sides of things before I just like shoot it down or present my own viewpoint or whatever. Um, 
yeah, I'm trying to be more open to what people have to say as, and most importantly, what God has to say. And the first verse that is shared on today is Hosea 4.16. And it says, For Israel is stubborn like a stubborn calf. Now the Lord will let them forage like a lamb in open country. So as I've talked about before, Israel is God's people. And um, they get stubborn. They lose their sight of God. And he lets them, you know, he lets them fail. He lets them do things their way. God's given all of us free will. Um, but he knows, you know, what he has waiting for them. Um, if they would just let go of that stubbornness. The next one is Psalm 25, 9. And it says, The humble he guides in justice, and the humble he teaches his way. So only until we humble ourselves will we truly hear from God. Um, if you're stuck in your own way, you know, you have thoughts entering your mind, and you're just stuck in your own way, you're not going to hear anything that, you know, other people say to you or that the thoughts that God might be putting in your mind, you're not going to hear it. Um, so without that, you know, he's not going to teach you his ways. Um, so that's the key to hearing from God and um, doing his will. The next one, Psalm 81, 10 to 14. It says, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide and I will fill it. But my people would not heed my voice, and Israel would have none of me. So I gave them over to their own stubborn heart, to walk in their own counsels. Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. I would soon subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their adversaries. So, it's just like I've said, um, that sums it all up. Um, if you don't listen to him, you know, because of your own stubborn heart, you're going to walk in your own ways, and God's going to let you do that. He gave you free will. Um, he's going to let you do what you want to do. <laughs> but when you choose him, you know, he will deliver you from um, hard times, from tribulations, um, from fear. You know, as I've said before, God doesn't give us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind but not while you're stubborn. Um, and then the next one is James 4.10. Um, and it says, where is it? Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. So don't be stubborn and humble yourself. And um, I pray that I'm able to do that um, in the presence of everyone regardless of size, regardless of views, regardless of anything, um, and just listen to God. Listen to God and let him lead me and follow me, and have zero stubbornness.